Hello, happy campers. As you may know, I have been a big advocate of solar and onboard power systems for especially travel trailers, but RVs and such. But a lot of people have asked, so what happens if there's no sun? Or if it's a really cloudy day? Or if you just use the whole battery running the air conditioner for hours and hours? And we came across a solution that really intrigues me and it's called the car generator. So this is the car generator and essentially all it really is is there is a, a pure sine wave inverter and a way to hook it up to your car and you run your car and you get power. And this was invented by a gent called Jonathan Schlu and he invented it after a power outage, he lives up in Canada, and he invented it after a power outage to essentially power his furnace. So in winter, you know, you wanna power your furnace up in Canada because it's bloody cold. So, car generator. Now, the thing that's neat about this is that it can be used with just about any car or truck, as long as there's a battery. So theoretically, you could tap into a an electric car if, if you wanted to. Um, now one of the questions I had, and this is how I originally came in touch with Jonathan Schlu, is I said, well, you're not supposed to run your car. So you, you plug this into your car, you attach the whole thing, and you then basically turn on the car and let it run at idle. Now I as a quote unquote old car guy, thought nah, you shouldn't really run your car at idle for extended periods of time. Well, times have changed, kids, and cars today are much better at running at idle than they were years and years and years ago. In fact, my own truck, this 2015 Ram 1500, it has an hour meter, and what that does is it keeps track of the engine's operation and this is a shot of the hour meter showing how many hundreds of hours this truck has been at idle and you think about you know you run it at the supermarket maybe with the air conditioner on or you run it at traffic signals or you're in the drive-through or whatever cars can idle for a very very long period of time in fact uh, that's one of the advantages of the car generator over a traditional old-fashioned gasoline or diesel or propane generator. Um, your car is designed to idle for hours at a time and with a full tank of gas you may get many 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 tens of hours of idle time whereas a regular generator right you have maybe a gallon of gas maybe a propane tank whatever and it only runs for a small period of time then you have to go outside and put more gas in well, if you're running it overnight, that's really inconvenient. So you have the advantage of longer run time. Another thing that this has an advantage over a traditional generator, traditional generators essentially have no emission system. And so if you're running a traditional generator, you're polluting the air. Now, some of you may say, so what, it's just a little generator. I get that. But if you do care, know that modern vehicles have all this complicated emissions infrastructure so they pollute a lot less so even though this is a much larger engine than in a portable generator uh, it's producing a lot less pollution another advantage look it's light uh, this thing is very very light now they have different versions of this with different capacities this is your pretty typical one uh, it's light, there are no fumes, because it's a box of electronics, essentially. And so you can stick it in the back seat of your car, you could put it in your SUV, you can put it in the baggage compartment of a travel trailer, whatever. There's no limitations on storage of this, because you're not dealing with gasoline and, and that kind of thing. So that's, that's uh, another advantage of this. And it's just there when you need it. Um, it's light, as I said, and there's no maintenance on this, right? It's, it's a box of electronics. And you might also then think, well, if it's a box of electronics, 
what about if it rains? Well, this is actually designed to be used in the rain. So it is set up to be essentially rain proof, rain resistant, whatever you call it. So it's a nifty gadget that, again, you see inside, it's essentially just an inverter and a plug. So I'm gonna plug this into the RAM and I'm gonna fire it up and show you how it works. Okay, so we are set. Uh, the way I did this is uh, obviously you connect the car generator to the, however your car or vehicle says to jump start it. In the case of this Ram 1500, you connect right to the battery. So there was a little red cover over the positive terminal because who knows why. And I took that off and connected the positive to the positive on the battery negative to the negative. Another nice thing is you can see that the car generator has a provision to hang on your vehicle and you find something solid and hang it and this is adjustable. Um, nice quality leads and all. One thing to keep in mind, remember there's all these spinny bits under the hood of any vehicle and so you want to make sure that these cables or anything don't come into contact with the spinny bits because that's the kind of entertainment none of us want and again working under the hood of any vehicle <clears throat> um, if you have long hair dangly necklaces whatever remember that these spaces are fairly unforgiving so just you know just exercise some caution and you should be fine I mean people have been opening the hoods of cars for decades and decades and decades so let's fire up the old Rambo and check out the car generator all right I can hear the alternator uh, hopefully you can hear me okay over the sound of the engine um, you The car generator is designed to work with the hood closed. You can close the hood, which enables, you know, it's better protected against the rain. But let's charge something now and just see how all of this works. So what I'm going to charge is the Jackery from the car generator. Uh, I could also plug in my travel trailer and charge the lithium batteries there or just run things or you could plug it into things in your house that you don't want to die. Uh, we did do a full podcast episode with Jonathan, the originator of Car Generator, and I will put links to that down below. In fact, uh, we have a website with tips, tricks, ideas, and tips. And uh, you might check that out, stressescamping.com. But anyway, let's plug in this Jackery See what happens so you can see what's going on uh, down here are two 110 volt outlets there is also a USB charger so you could charge you know USB devices so here we've got power to power outlet turn it on So the DC input level is working. The power outlet, I'm getting 170 watts. No, nope, we're jumping here. We are at 265 watts into the Jackery. So I'm actually using the truck with 110 power to fill up the Jackery. The truck is running fine. So there you go. Uh, a really nifty backup solution. There's also a display up on top of the uh, car generator, almost knocked it off. And we're getting 14.4 amps in, so uh, everything is working just great. Now, one question you might have is, hey, your engine's running and he's in the ignition. How do I keep the vehicle from being stolen? Uh, you would want a second key and you would want to lock your vehicle. 
probably a very good idea and have that second key handy. Um, other questions? Can I run this if there's a generator ban? Yeah, because you're allowed to idle a vehicle, right? Uh, close the hood. People may not even be able to know because this is quiet. Obviously, I'm shouting over the engine because the hood is up, but it's not how you'd normally do it. So, uh, this is this rainproof? Well, not the train proof, right? But it's rain resistant. Normally, you wouldn't sit it like this. You'd hang it. And there's a nice protective rubber dealy on the back so you don't scratch up your car if you care about your car. I think you can see how often I wash this truck. It is an annual event. Um, again, it's just a box of electronics. So simple, reliable. You store it. You know, you could store it for years before you need it. Or use it frequently. There's, you know, there, unlike a regular generator, you are not going to have to maintain this. Uh, you have it in the back seat or storage compartment of your RV or wherever is convenient. There's no gasoline. There's no complicated stuff. It, it just works. So kind of a neat device, I think. Uh, would I recommend this? Yeah, pretty much for any RVer. I, I think this is another game-changing device for we are beers and of course you can also use it to back up some things in your home especially if you have medical appliances that you may need that may be uh, critical and the power goes out well now you've got a backup generator for that too so I like this it's a simple solution that just works which is my favorite kind um, so check it out we have links on our uh, links down below to a full article I wrote with information on how to get one of these uh, this was sent to us so I want to be very honest but would I buy it oh without a doubt I, I would absolutely buy this so a great device a great tool if, if you're a solar lithium boondocking camper oh boy another terrific gadget to have and one that needs no maintenance because I hope you're already maintaining your vehicle, right? Um, so that's that's my take. Uh, definitely two thumbs up. And uh, yeah, nifty gadget.